Hi, I'm Becca. I'm going to be a senior at the University of Michigan. I'm an art and design major. I focus on graphic design, I suppose, but I really enjoy all fine arts. And I guess I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my experience at Saatchi and in Florence and in Europe overall because I'm a total Midwesterner. This is me. And this is me in Italy. As we can both tell, I didn't really know what I was doing. But it ended up okay. See me smiling. Yay. So everyone will tell you about the gelato and the great view of Florence from Piazza Michelangelo. And they'll tell you about the markets and just enjoying the little things in life because that's what Italians do. But they won't tell you exactly where to go for it. And to be honest, they can't tell you. You need to figure it out yourself. So a lot of times I found the most peace in my life and just grateful for being there was when I was exploring alone and stumbled upon different things like the church on the hill like by Piazza Michelangelo. It's called San Minato al Monte and it has a gorgeous cemetery attached to it. I mean, a lot of people know about this place, but it's not something that they'll necessarily tell you to go to. Um, and uh, another thing is going to the Boboli Garden. Super famous. Kim and Kanye got married there right after I left. Um, but just going there with your friends and having a picnic, it's like the best thing in the world. And just doing watercolor there. Basically, I'm just telling you to enjoy the beauty while you're there. Because although you may feel homesick or just miss American culture, everywhere you turn in Italy is just rustic and has character. And take tons of pictures, but don't go for the pictures. Experience what you can and take what you learn back home because that's the most important part.